Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can use sodium hydroxide to test for different cations. Now this test is nice and simple. All you need to do is dissolve the salt in distilled water. We use distilled water because it doesn't give us any impurities. Add a few drops of the sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and observe the colour of the precipitate. Simple. Now there are six different observations you need to be able to remember. They are for copper, Cu2+, calcium, Ca2+, aluminium, Al3+, iron 2, Fe2+, iron 3, Fe3+, and ammonium, which is NH4+. Let's start off with copper then. Now you can see on the right hand side I have a solution of copper. If I add sodium hydroxide to it, you can now see it has made a blue precipitate. If we move on to calcium, as you can see sodium hydroxide has been added and it has made a white precipitate. On to aluminium, add in sodium hydroxide, what do we get? A white precipitate. Now there's an issue here, we have two precipitates that are white, which means we do not have a unique test. So we have to do something else to tell the difference between calcium and aluminium. And the solution here is to add excess sodium hydroxide. Now as you can see on the right hand side, when you add excess, so extra sodium hydroxide to calcium, nothing happens, the white precipitate remains. But when we do it to aluminium, that white precipitate disappears, it becomes colourless. So that's how you tell the difference between calcium and aluminium. That's really important. If we move on to iron 2, you can see if we put sodium hydroxide into here, it makes a green precipitate. Iron 3, when you add sodium hydroxide, makes a brown precipitate. And then finally, ammonium. As you can see here, I'm putting sodium hydroxide in and I haven't got a precipitate formed. There is nothing there. So again, there is another step to this test. What you have to do is you have to take the ammonium, add your sodium hydroxide and then warm it up, heat it gently with a Bunsen burner. If you do that, it gives off a gas, that gas is ammonia, NH3, and that turns red litmus paper blue, as you can see here. And that is it for this video. So what you have to do is spend some time, look at each of the six different ions and learn the precipitate test for them. Okay, let's see what the examiner could ask you. So, I've got two questions for you. Number one, two solids were found in a lab, one called calcium sulfate and one called aluminium sulfate. When a few drops of sodium hydroxide were added to a solution of each compound, both produced a white precipitate. Explain a further test to identify each solid. So it's worth two marks. You'll get one mark for saying what you do and then one mark for saying what you'll see, how you'll know which one is which. On to question two. Three unknown solutions are found in a lab. One solution is known to contain ammonium, another contains iron two, and the final one contains iron three. Explain a test to find out which solution is which. So again, what do you add? That should hopefully be fairly obvious to you now. And then what will you see? How can you prove which one's ammonium, which one's iron two, and which one's iron three? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a min. Okay, let's go through. So if we start off with question one then, to work out the difference between aluminium and calcium, you add excess sodium hydroxide or excess NaOH. You've got to get that word excess in. So that gets you your first mark. And then your second one, you can either say if it goes colorless, it's aluminium, or if it stays white, it's calcium. Either of those get you the second mark. If we look at question two, What's the test? Add sodium hydroxide. Any way of saying put sodium hydroxide into the solutions is absolutely fine. And then it's your results. So if you get a green precipitate, it's iron two. One mark for that. If it's a brown precipitate, iron three. One mark for that. And then the fourth mark is for your ammonium. So here you have to go a little bit more detailed. There is no precipitate. So what do you have to do? Heat it. 
Once you've heated it, that gas will turn red litmus paper blue, proving that the iron is ammonium. So you need all that for the fourth mark. That really is everything for this video. So I have got a review question for you, which is describe a test to work out the following ions using sodium hydroxide. You should state what is seen for each cation. So I've got all the six that we've talked about today. What do you add? And then for each one, what will you see? That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can check out the latest video and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.